Welcome to a tour around Tangible T4 Editor. Tangible T4 Editor allows you to write your own code generators based on a text template language that looks a lot like ASP.NET. The T4 language was invented by Microsoft and is already part of Visual Studio. We are providing a first-class editor experience to allow you to write text templates with syntax highlighting and intelligence as well as debugging inside Visual Studio 10 and Visual Studio 11. First let's have a look at a template, what it does and what you can do with it. In this very simple example we will want to generate domain objects which are actually classes with properties from an XML file that we use as input. The idea is that you for example want to generate code first classes which are POCO objects from a very simple structure like an XML file. Certainly you can do it later on also from databases if you have existing databases or from UML diagrams. But for the sake of simplicity let's start with an XML sample. In this sample we have a definition of tables that we want DTO objects for. For example we have the school and the bus table with some columns and types defined in here. So basically what we want to do is go over this simple structure and generate source code for it. That's what the template does. By adding a text template from the Add New Menu Items commands we can choose a Tangible T4 Editor template that actually looks a lot like what we have in here. There's one template that's very close to it. And also we could use other data sources like I said like UML models or even Visual Studio models to generate from. But for sake of simplicity let's keep it with the XML file. I already added a template which is shown here and this template um, actually consists of several parts. The first part is the template directive that defines the language the template is written in. Tangible T4 Editor supports two control languages that can be, writ uh, can be used to write the statements that actually control the flow of the template. We will look at this a little bit later. The second part is that we define an output extension so that means that we can say which language we want to generate. The output language could for example be SQL if we want to uh, generate code like insert statements or we want to generate code like database definition uh, or stop procedures. In our case let's just generate c -sharp code. The second part of this template is actually referring to assemblies that the template needs to work with. Each template is working for its own, it's not looking at the project system so you need to define the assemblies that you need to use in the template here. As we're using XML as the input format we certainly need XML. So in the first control block that I just opened which is closed by default to make it easier to look at the template what we do is actually reading in the document sample XML which is located close to the template. After reading in the template we can go over um, the number of tables that are, gen uh, that are part of this XML structure and r go over them and then output just output code with the name of the table and as you can see uh, Tangible T4 Editor supports full intelligence on those assemblies in the Pro Edition. The next thing is that we have another control block enumerating over uh, the properties that we have in this template. So once we save this template uh, what's actually doing is it's going over the XML file and outputting the code. So that can be very easy for you to write a lot of code in a very short time frame just by defining the metadata that you actually need and then running the template. In order to run the template there are other possibilities which are built into Visual Studio like for example click on the transform all templates button which transform all the templates in your solution if you have more of them. Another nice feature that's coming with the pro edition of Tangible 44 Editor is the transform on build feature. With transform on build set to true the template is transformed every time your project builds making sure that the template actually is up to date all the time. 
you can see that uh, in the in the output pane that we're actually transforming the template for you all the time. That's quite nice. In addition to that, you can also have something very cool in the new version, which is that you can set breakpoints. For example, I can set a breakpoint here because here's an output statement or a control block statement, so I'm able to set a breakpoint here, click right mouse, uh, right mouse button and debug the template. Now what's happening is that we execute the template behind the scenes in the same Visual Studio instance and you can even see the preview here. So I'm getting this template1cs which is a new one, it's not the same one as the other one that we already opened and I can see the source code that's coming out here that's been just generated. So if I step over this line I got this new uh, property definition and if I step over again I get the other property definition. So that's quite nice. You can also inspect all the local variables and define watch variables. You can create conditional breakpoints, everything that you would expect from a normal debugger. That's quite nice. If you need more than that, I mean, in like you use uh, Visual Studio Automation, you can still use our debugger features, but uh, you would need to uh, take the other one, debug a new VS instance which actually starts a new Visual Studio instance for you and runs the template there. That allows you to do enhanced T4 where you actually use Visual Studio Automation. In addition to that, we have some documentation now and we also have the full Visual Studio editing experience. That means we don't use our own editor anymore. We have just everything back to Visual Studio Standard. So everything will behave like you expect. We have uh, overload information, uh, we have search and find dialogues which are standard from Visual Studio and we also have the error reporting once again uh, very nicely done in this new version so that for example if you have a bug here you will see okay that's a problem and certainly it will be down there. We got a lot of feedback from you that we want to thank you for, for example for the editor and special things like tabs and spaces and indenting options that we now uh, do like you actually wanted them. In addition to that we certainly now support the dark theme so like changing to black is not a problem, changing the tangible T4 background color is now also supported so you can change for example this one now to gray if you want and then your dark theme works a little bit better. Um, we pick up fonts and colors uh, everywhere. We pick up the tabs and the indent settings that you n normally have. And we also support Visual Studio 11 now. So with that, I want to close this tour of the Tangible T4 Editor. I hope that you will look at uh, other features that we provide in area of modeling tools and other samples. And I hope you enjoyed this video and check out the tool.